you guys this is so random but i did a bunch of shopping last weekend and i wanted to show you guys everything i did a tiktok about it but i just wanted to pop it in the vlog as well so it's sunday and i'm just doing a little haul and because i'm really excited about all these pieces so i just wanted to show you but first off i got this from aber sorry i was about to say from abercrombie not i got these from lululemon these shorts are the align biker shorts they're in navy i don't know i think it's called navy and then this is the all yours tea which i'm obsessed with the all yours tea i know it's kind of expensive it's like 48 dollars but it's just like something about it is so perfect i can't describe it it's like the perfect t-shirt but anyway i know it's pricey but if you're a healthcare worker you do get like 15% off and then my husband is an athletic director so he is a part of the sweat club so he gets 25% off so that's how I justify it but anyway I went to Nordstrom Nordstrom Zara and Abercrombie and me and Abercrombie like Abercrombie is my favorite place if you guys ever like don't know where something that I'm wearing is from it chances are it's from Abercrombie I promise but anyway first things first I got the cutest shirt from Nordstrom it's from the brand wave w-a-y-f i got this in a size small i think it is so cute you could just pair it with jeans and it would be so cute for summer and then from zara i got three things i got this pink tank top which i just thought would be like simple and easy to throw on i got this blue tank top which i also it's got like a little bit of asymmetrical strings right here so i thought that would be cute i got it in a size medium I believe it was literally like ten dollars and then the thing that i'm most excited for the thing that i'm most excited for that i found at zara is this squirt it was literally like across from me like by itself it was just one of them and i went to it because i was so drawn to it first of all i've been looking for a squirt because i don't really like mini skirts on me i just don't like the way they look um but zara like you can't try anything on so i saw it it was my size and i was like i just have to get it camper i'm trying to show my friends I just have to get it and if i hate it i'll bring it back but you guys it is so cute i'm literally obsessed with it okay and now all of my stuff from abercrombie hopefully i can get through this before my camera dies because it's blinking at me i got these jeans they're the 90 relaxed high-rise jeans in the curve lab i wear a size four and then in regular i wear a size six but they're just like straight down jeans you can really just never go wrong with a pair of jeans from abercrombie and then I really wanted to hop on the cargo pants trend. Um, I just haven't gotten on that yet, but I think it's so cute. So I went with the white pair. I got them in a size six. They are, honey, honey, honey. They are called, I don't know what they're called. The name is not on them anywhere, but they're so cute. I will link everything in my like to know it as well, which there will be a link in my bio that you can go look for them. But these are so cute. They're perfect if, because I always, like, I have bigger hips, so I think that white um, jeans don't always look good on me, but I, those are really flattering. Next, I got these white linen pants. They're just simple. I thought I could throw them on over a bathing suit during the summer, just, like, perfect. And then I am a stickler for, like, jean shorts that I wear. The only ones that I wear, I have two pairs from Abercrombie and one pair from PacSun, but my ones from Abercrombie are my favorite. So I picked up the Abercrombie, the dad short high-rise. I got these in a size I got the regular they did have curve love um, which in regular sizing I wear a six but then in the curve love sizing I wear a four but these just fit better in my opinion the curve love was like a little tight on my waist and I I don't like like anything to roll <laughs> there which I most people don't like that but these are absolutely perfect and then last but not least my absolute favorite thing that I got is this dress it is so cute um, I will link it down below because I don't know what it's called, but it is just the perfect pink for summer. My favorite thing to wear in the summer is a dress because it's so easy. I live in Florida. It gets so hot. And I know you guys are probably thinking like it's only March, but it's it was 90 degrees today. Like summer is here in Florida. So this is so cute. Absolutely need to put on some sunglasses. The sun is shining in my eyes. Anyway, good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog and um, got a little like sneak peek into the patients that I saw, what I did for the patients, etc. Um, but I am headed to work this morning. This week, I am 
the goal is for me to see all of my I want to I don't know what to call him like my he's not my instructor he's not my preceptor but he's my trainer like the one who's training me so the goal is for me to see all of his patients um, obviously if that doesn't happen it's okay because sometimes things happen <laughs> but um, I know that he does not have patients scheduled on Monday morning so I'll probably just hang out with one of the other NPs this morning and then um, we go to another location office location this afternoon um, and that office location is pretty chill so it's not far from me it's maybe like 10 minutes so anyway we will do that um, and then we will see how it goes. I will let you guys know, but um, I'm hoping it goes well. It is several hours later, obviously, um, and it's now 5.15. I'm just leaving work and sitting at a red light right now, but um, the plan for tonight is for me to go home. I think I'm gonna try, I don't know, I'm not that hungry right now for dinner, but I wanna go to my husband's volleyball game at six, um, and I live like five minutes from the school, so, I'm gonna run home and like take out my dogs, play with them, do some other stuff, and then go to the school, watch the volleyball game. But I'm thinking I should probably like cook dinner in between, even if I don't eat it, maybe just cook it so that it's ready. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner. That's the other thing. I went to Publix on Saturday evening and I bought so much food but without like a plan of what to make, which is always like, don't make that mistake because I spent so much more money than if I would have gone with a list of what I was going to make. Um, I spent so much money in Publix for one grocery trip. So I should, I have stuff to make at home, but I just can't like, nothing's coming to mind. I might do just like a simple, we do have leftovers from pasta I made, but I did have that for lunch. So I'm not really feeling that, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we make for dinner. What? What? What is you doing? You ruining my backyard? What are you doing? You an accomplice? You want to help me make dinner? Who's he? Oh my goodness. I'm having deja vu because I'm making tacos for dinner and I made tacos for dinner last Monday. So, yeah, having some deja vu. I just got back from my husband's uh, volleyball game. They lost, which I feel like I jinx everything. I don't think I've ever been to a game that they win, and I feel like every game that I'm not at, they win. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't go. But I like to go because I like doing something after work. Like, I like to not just come home and sit on my couch. Look at my hair, oh my God. Because it makes me feel like I have more of a life, and I get to see, like, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law were there. Um, just, like, people that I know because my husband works there, so. It was fun to watch. I, if you guys didn't know, I played volleyball in high school. I actually injured my sacrum in high school from volleyball, and I still have a lot of issues with it from that. Um, but I was co-captain of my volleyball team when I was a senior in high school, and I love volleyball. It's so fun. So I'm looking for like things that I want to season this impossible with. I forgot to buy taco seasoning at the store. I also wanted to mention to you guys that I know when I used to work in GI, I used to get a lot of questions about um, podcasts that I would listen to. Um, and I one time listened to the American Academy of Gastroenterology. They did a podcast on GERD. I one time listened to it. Um, but I, when you guys originally asked me that, I was like, I don't really like to listen to podcasts outside of work because it gives me anxiety. But now, like that I'm actually using like my nurse practitioner license and all this stuff. Like I wanna make sure I'm up to date on everything. So I've been listening to the curbsiders. One thing that we see all the time in primary care is back pain. And we as practitioners are really bad with back pain, not because we like don't understand what it is or anything, but it's because a lot of times the patient wants to label back pain as like being caused by something. So say like I have you know, I have any type of condition that's directly linked to back pain, and a lot of times it's just like a strain of the muscle, you did something wrong, and it's like the muscle around your back is giving you some pain. 
And as practitioners, we are quick to send the patient for an x-ray because, like I said, patients want a diagnosis. They don't want to just be like, oh, you have back pain, it'll go away. But really, guidelines say that unless there's any red flags, meaning like loss of bowel, bladder control, like loss of deep tendon reflexes, unable to move, like legs, anything like that, um, we really shouldn't send for imaging. Patients don't like to hear that. I've told patients that before, especially in like my primary care rotations. Um, they just don't like to hear that you don't need an x-ray and the x-ray is not going to show me anything because most likely in those situations an MRI would be indicated and you don't really need an MRI for to diagnose that somebody has a sprained, like sprained muscle, especially if it's going to heal. So I'm listening to that. Um, I'm listening to episode 368 back pain update with Dr. Austin. All right, I went with less toppings this time. The only thing I omitted was lettuce and then I don't have any sour cream. So it's just vegan cheese, impossible burger, some grilled peppers and onions, avocado, olives, salsa. So good. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday, woke up this morning thinking that it was Saturday and I forgot to turn my alarm off. So I'm sleepy to say the least. So last night me and my husband stayed up a little bit later than usual I like to be like asleep by 10 30 <laughs> that's like always my goal um, but I didn't get in bed until like 10 45 last night and probably didn't fall asleep till 11 but we finished watching Daisy Jones and the six you guys it was so good my husband loved it I loved it like we were we are obsessed I think that it's the best thing that I've watched in a long time Time. and Amazon Prime like did a really good job like I freaking loved it it was so good I cannot recommend it more if you have not watched it I know that it's a book I did not read the book because <clears throat> like when I I went to read the book because a lot of people were talking about it like last summer or something like that and I was just like this doesn't seem that interesting to me like somebody in a band whatever but we started it on Saturday night and I think we watched literally three episodes on Saturday night because we were like, oh wait, this is really good. Today we watched a couple episodes and then yesterday we watched a couple episodes and when I woke up this morning, I thought it was the weekend because I was so tired, um, but it was worth it because it was literally amazing. No! Accidentally opening my garage door. Hi, Bubba. I just got home. Hi, how are you, sweet boy? Oh my goodness. Oh, who's he? Okay, we're not jumping. We're not jumping. We need to do big for dad. Anyway, I just got home from getting my nails done. Today was an event for day. What did I do today? Oh, I did a shoulder injection. I saw a two-year-old um, for possible ear infection, but I didn't. they weren't infected. The teams were not bulging. They were just like a little pink. The lighting's kind of off. No. What else did I see today? New patient, like a dehydration type of thing. Follow up, diabetes, stuff like that. Like nothing crazy. Um, I didn't do any skin tag today, which is random. But anyway, I got my nails done this afternoon, you guys. Oh, hold on. Let me get some make sure you can see them. They are the cutest things ever. I'm so obsessed. My nail guy is so good. I was like, you don't have to do all of the flowers a different color. Like you can keep them the same color just so it's less work. Cause they were closing. I didn't get there till 5:30, and they close at seven. He was like, no, they have to be, it has to be like the picture. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. I'm just making myself a little breakfast to go. I usually make myself a smoothie, but I just did not feel like making it last night. So we're going with a little silk Greek yogurt, 10 grams of protein. Wish it had more, but it is what it is. That's pretty good. Little raspberries on it. These are already washed. And 
some blueberries. We'll call it a day. I also have nothing to pack for lunch because we literally just had sandwiches last night. I forgot to show you guys, but we X made the chicken and everything else that we were gonna have, and we just had sandwiches. I guess we do have some pasta left over I can put into a smaller bowl. That's from that's from Sunday night, so we'll just have my coffee. I'm just gonna go sit out for a second I like to be outside a little bit in the morning if I can um, so I'm just gonna go sit out there and then do my devotional my five-minute journal before I leave get myself like some peace my hair is for like a mess but happy Wednesday I was about to say happy Tuesday but it's Wednesday thank God I mean alrighty you guys I look not great that's all right you know what it just is what it is Today was crazy. It was it was a lot today. So this morning, I am like trying to think of like what I saw because I'm having a hard time remembering it. To be completely honest, I don't know. I I can tell you. But this afternoon, I saw a lot of pediatrics. I saw three peds patients, um, which I love, except for when the babies are sick, which happened. So, but that's okay. Um, so I saw three peds patients. I saw a patient with like crazy hypertension. I was like talking to a few of you guys over TikTok and like there's something in the water with hypertension recently um, because this person is like maxed out on a lot of meds. I just added a diuretic um, to de because they're already on everything else and it's like maxed out everything else. So I just added a diuretic on there. So we'll see how that goes, bring him back in a week. And what else did I do this afternoon? This afternoon was like crazy hectic. So I'm trying to think, I guess that's it. Oh, I saw a new patient. Um, so that's really it, but it was just really busy. It's probably the most patients that I've seen um, all day, but I literally, you guys, I can't even remember what I saw this morning. So I can't tell you because I don't remember what it was. But I know I saw several, like I saw a lot of stuff this morning, but it's like, it's gone. But anyway, I was supposed to go to, a, it was, I thought it was a drug rep dinner, but it was actually a, um, a talk from a few doctors about um, venous insufficiency. I was supposed to go to that, but then Seth ended up having an away game. So I needed to come home because I needed to be with my dogs and because I need to like let them out and they've been alone all day. So I was like, I just need to stay here. I can't, I just can't in good conscience come back, come to my house and like let them out, feed them dinner and then leave again and be gone until probably like 8.30, 9 o'clock and then get in bed. Especially because they have two big dogs. Like they need exercise, they need to be stimulated. And so I was like, I have to come home. I'm so sorry, like I have to bail on this. But anyway. So I, now I have to make something for dinner. <laughs> I don't know what I'm making. I just literally, I finished, I just like ran home um, and to let the dogs out. I didn't finish charting or anything. So I just finished up two charts. It took me like 15, 20 minutes um, to do that. And I've just been like sitting outside for the past half an hour editing the TikTok that I posted, which you guys, it's like from Wednesday. It's just like a get ready with me. I've been trying to like, like I've been doing a lot of the same TikToks. I kind of want to switch up a lot of them, but it's hard when you're working full time to like still use that creative um, aspect of yourself. So, because my brain is being pulled in so many other ways, I feel like. Anyway, I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna snack on just like hummus and um, what I have left of a cucumber and a green pepper. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Oh, I should probably make what I was telling you guys I was going to make yesterday. Like the potatoes and chicken. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'm going to you. you want anyone in mind? I'm sorry. Coming smoothly. I'm just watching some of the bold type. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. I've tried to film this clip so many times, but... It is just keeps getting interrupted. Either my dog is eating in the background, 
drinking water in the background, flipped the camera over in the background. So anyway, I had a bit of an early morning. I think I woke up at like 7.30. It's just really hard to sleep in with dogs. And for me, like the first day of the weekend, so Saturday, I naturally wake up a bit earlier and Sunday I'm usually able to sleep in more. Uh, probably because I go to bed later, but last night I didn't go to bed that late. I think I went to bed at like 11. So I woke up naturally at 7.30 and I laid in bed for like an hour. And we got up, I made myself a coffee. I've been like getting back into my um, Nespresso pods. I like to have both machines. So I have like my regular coffee maker and I have my Nespresso pods. And it's nice to like go back and forth between which one I'm feeling. And I've just been very much into the Nespresso pods lately. So love that. I think I'm just going to watch um, some YouTube while I drink my coffee this morning, hang out with the boys. They love, they love when someone else is in the backyard with them. They don't like to be out here by themselves. <laughs> They're so strange. Um, but yeah, the plan for today, I have a Pilates class at 11 I'm gonna go to. And, um, us cousin is in town so they're actually going to go up north to the springs i think i might have told this to you guys they're gonna go up north to the springs today but i can't cancel my pilates class because i already paid for it <laughs> and they're gonna go a little bit earlier than i think they're gonna leave at like 10 30 and my pilates class is at 11 so i'm not gonna go i'm just gonna hang out which is fine i feel like i need it's been like a busy week uh, so i feel like i need a little bit of time to like recuperate and yeah so I'm just going to relax I guess I should say I Hoosier do not even think about it Hoosier loves drinking my coffee like if I turn my head and I like have it on like a coffee table or something he will take a slurp of it like stop it um but I guess I should end the vlog here because it's the weekend and this is a week in my life so Thank you guys for watching week two of being a primary care np is done i am exhausted but it was a good week i learned a lot i did a lot and i'm so thankful for the weekend next week is a four-day work week i have good friday off which is just another blessing in itself so i will see you guys next week and i hope you have a great day